Talk TV host Piers Morgan took to social media this evening to express his relief over seeing the Queen back on her feet again. The star admitted he was getting more and more concerned about the monarch after it was announced she would be missing the state opening of the British Parliament earlier this week. Piers, 57, shared a recent picture of the Queen, 96, on Twitter today in view of his seven. 9 million followers. Wonderful to see the Queen back on her feet and smiling again, he wrote beside the photograph. The picture was taken from the Royal Windsor Horse Show, which the Queen attended today after missing the state opening of Parliament on Tuesday. Her absence at the event was significant, as she missed the annual reading of the Queen's speech for the first time since 1963. However, the Royal was all smiles today as she was driven to the showground in a Range Rover. Her horse Balmoralia, a five-year-old grey dun mare, was announced as a supreme champion in the Highland Class 64 event. The Queen later enjoyed watching her granddaughter Lady Louise Windsor in a carriage display marking the centenary of the Felpony Society. She did indeed appear to be back on her feet, as the royal was spotted walking around using her stick. It was said that the Queen had been forced to pull out of the state opening of Parliament earlier this week due to her mobility problems. An official statement from Buckingham Palace said, the Queen continues to experience episodic mobility problems, and in consultation with her doctors has reluctantly decided that she will not attend the state opening of Parliament. At Her Majesty's request, and with the agreement of the relevant authorities, the Prince of Wales will read the Queen's speech on Her Majesty's behalf, with the Duke of Cambridge also in attendance. In reaction to the news on Monday, Piers tweeted out, this is not good. Getting more and more concerned about the Queen's health. Dot weighing in on the issue, The Guardian's parliamentary sketch writer John Crace offered a different perspective. He told Piers, surely it's the expectation that at 96 she can keep up the same schedule she did 20 years that is the problem. It's the fact she can't do an increasing number of things she did every year until now that is worrying, Piers replied. Piers also shared the news of the Queen's impending absence with his viewers on talk TV that night. Incredibly, the last time she missed this ceremony was in 1963, Piers said. She hasn't missed it in my lifetime. And she's only ever missed it twice in her 70-year reign, both times due to pregnancy. We know the Queen struggled increasingly with her health, including a bout of Covid in February, he continued. But I'm sure I speak for all of us when I say I sincerely wish her the very speediest of recoveries, particularly with the Platinum Jubilee celebrations coming up fast.